Hi, it's September 23rd, 2020. This is Dr. Fryer, and this is a little summary of our lesson today in our sixth grade media literacy class, introducing sketch noting. So our assignment today is to go ahead and watch the first half of this wonderful TEDx video by Rachel Smith. It's called Drawing in Class, and you'll find that in Google Classroom. Today, I just went over a few basic tips, and then we spent our time uh, doing some practice sketch noting. So First off, overall, I would say, you know, sketch noting in my mind is this process of taking ideas that you are having come into your brain through your eyes and your ear, and then it goes literally out your hand. It's got to be processed by your brain. Sketch noting is about making meaning. And so while it could be wonderful if other people can see your sketch notes and get ideas, it's really about you. Are you able to look at your sketch notes again and remember some of those key ideas that you were hearing and seeing and that somebody was talking about or that you were reading in your book or wherever you were getting that information? It's about you putting that meaning into pictures and textual form. So here's three quick tips. Number one, remember it's about Pictionary, not art. If you've ever played Pictionary, you know that you're not trying to create a museum quality work of art. You're just trying to communicate something in that case so someone else will guess what word or phrase you are trying to get them to, um, to say out loud. And so think that same way about sketch notes. I want you to be brave. I want you to be fearless. A lot of people are scared of art and scared of, you know, not doing it perfect and not having it look great. Look, I'm telling you, I am not a great artist. But sketchnoting is not about creating art. It's about communicating and also about being fun, uh, being playful. That's one of the things that Rachel talks about in her video. And so embrace that. Um, second of all, icon inspiration. A lot of times, you know, when I hear... A, a, a topic and I'm thinking, okay, what can I make as a picture? And then I'm like, wow, how am I going to draw that? I will use this technique. I will go to a website called The Noun Project. So if you um, just put in that address, this is thenounproject.com, and there's other places that you can go. Um, put in a word like uh, pencil um, for something that you need to draw. And they have literally millions of icons here. You're going to see just tons of different possibilities. And so you can be inspired by these examples and get an idea. Oh, I could draw a pencil like that. I mean, look at that. That's a very you know simple pencil. And so you can be inspired with icons. You also can, you know, exercise, this is a good, pro, a good exercise or process in searching for different terms and different words, you know, depending upon what it is that you need to represent. So those are some, some pretty good tips, I think. Uh, in addition, last one is stay with the speaker, okay? Don't get so bogged down in making this really fancy drawing that you lose track of what the person is saying if you're listening to somebody, you know, a teacher give a, a presentation, if you're watching a video, uh, stay with them. And you can always come back and make the, the picture fancier later, uh, but you need to stay with them. Okay, so those are some, some basic ideas. Um, in addition, maybe to be inspired a little bit, I'll put this link into the Google Classroom as well. I've got a link to um, this album. So this is a Flickr album that has over, I think it has 57 uh, sketch notes now that I have created. A lot of times I will sketch note now most when I am you know, listening to a sermon. That was actually one that Rachel did. So that was a sketch note my daughter did. But uh, most of these are things, I think Rachel probably drew that horse actually. Um, most of these are sketch notes that I did. Um, I've done some of these at conferences. Uh, one of the ones I think I'm probably most proud of is uh, this one here. I listened to this author talk at a conference. His name's Stephen Johnson. He has a whole book called Where Do Good Ideas Come From? And so um, I, I actually drew this one in black and white, and then I went in later and filled in with color. Um, but this is one that I've, I did quite a while ago. I did this. When was this? 2013. So I made this seven years ago. So I've been sketchnoting for a while. Um, I really just love sketchnoting. It is really, really great. Uh, it's, it's a great way to learn. And it's a great way to share your learning and then document your learning uh, for yourself and for others. So in addition to that, um, this is a website uh, just to know about and that you can look at resources here too if you want. This is showwithmedia.com um, and I made this actually about 2013, so about seven years ago as well. And I have a whole section on visual note-taking. 
which is another way of saying sketch noting. So there's Rachel Smith's video, uh, another video that she made about visual recording on the iPad, but it's got suggestions for other kinds of apps that you might want to use, um, other kinds of tools, um, examples that you can check out that other people have done as well. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If you are not in our class and you're watching this video and you'd like to learn more, you can go to our website, which is MDTech dot cassidy dot org for middle division technology and if you go under lessons you can find our lesson for sketch noting and we're going to be doing about a three-part uh, lesson on sketch noting and so uh, you'll find the procedures for today's activity and then i'm adding additional days activities here that you'll be able to check out so good luck have fun learning how to sketch note better